Hey guys, Brian from Ernie Dean Chevrolet here. I've got two trucks. In this video, I'm going to compare the differences between an LT Trail Boss and a Custom Trail Boss and show you the major differences between these two trucks. Okay guys, taking a look at the Custom Trail Boss, we're gonna take a look at the grill here. As you can see, Chevrolet is written across the front grill. Note, there is no Chevy emblem in the front of the truck. You also have this little Z71 badge here. Really simple design on the grill on this truck. Works really good, looks really rugged with this honeycomb style grill. Taking a look at the LT Trail Boss grill, you can see this one does have the Chevy emblem on the front of the truck. It's a little bit more intricate of a design and then you do have that Z71 badge as well. So the custom Trail Boss features halogen headlights. Coming over to the LT Trail Boss, we've got LED headlights and then we also have the fog lamps on the bottom. All right guys, so we're gonna take a look at the key fobs for both these trucks. So as you can see on the LT Trail Boss, we don't have a key, so it is a push ignition. On the Custom Trail Boss, we've got a classic style key with your fob. So both the LT Trail Boss and the Custom Trail Boss do have similar features at the back. Virtually, they're both the exact same. One says Custom and one does say LT. They both have dual exhaust. They both have the power tailgates and they both have remote start as well with the dual exhaust. And the wheels on these two particular trucks are the same. So they've got Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac tires and then an 18 inch black alloy wheel. Another similarity between these two trucks is both feature a Z71 package which is available across the board on all Chevy trucks. Another couple differences between these trucks on the Custom Trail Boss, we have a black plastic. Moving over to the LT Trail Boss, it's more of a glossy black. And then the door handles are also finished in a glossy black where these are just kind of a matte black. So sitting in the front of the Custom Trail Boss, I want you guys to take a look at the steering wheel here. So on the Custom Trail Boss, we do have our cruise controls on the left here. We've got a black Chevy emblem. And then if you take a look at the gauges there, we do have a black and white display that does show you different vehicle metrics. So the Custom Trail Boss does seat six people. It's standard with a bench seat. So on the Custom Trail Boss, we do have a seven inch display up here. It is upgraded with the latest My Chevrolet infotainment system. You do have satellite radio available on these trucks. And then taking a look at the climate control, it is single zone climate control. You've got a power lift gate button down here, power tailgate, excuse me. You've got your hill descent, which is part of the Z71 package, your hazards and your traction control. And then further down, your trailer brake controllers in the bottom right. You've got a USB port, a regular car charger. So on the custom trail boss, we do have automatic headlamps. We do have all our four wheel drive buttons. And then we do have our tow haul mode, as you can see here. So we do have in-seat storage as an option in the Custom Trail Boss. You've got a little storage cubby in there. And then taking a look at the bottom here, you do have rear vents for your passengers in the back. Sitting inside the LT Trail Boss, you can see we do have a push ignition. So I'm gonna start the vehicle up. Look at the steering wheel here. We do have a leather wrap steering wheel. Our cruise controls still are on the left hand side. We've got a heated steering wheel as an available option. And then on the right hand side, you do have these arrows which correspond with the center screen, which is slightly bigger than the custom trail boss. You also have your Bluetooth controls on the steering wheel, volume controls for the radio on the back, and then you can change your radio stations on the back left of the steering wheel. So on the LT Trail Boss, we do have an eight inch display. We've got dual zone climate control, heated seats on this truck. And I'm gonna take a look at some of these buttons on the bottoms. We do have a hill descent control. We've got our automatic stop start technology shut off on this. So if you don't want your truck to shut off automatically, you can disable it on this truck. You do have a power lift gate, your hazard lights, traction control, and you also have a 400 watt outlet in the bed so you can turn it on and off from here. Trailer brake controller is in the same place. They have added a USB-C port on this truck. They have also added a regular 150 watt outlet or house plug, and then your car charger as well. So we do have an available sunroof in this truck. We do have a Bose speaker system as an available option in the LT Trail Boss. On the LT Trail Boss, we do have an available power sliding rear window. 
So in the LT Trail Boss, you do have leather as an added option. You also have the center console here. This guy does flip up. You've got some different ports in there and some storage space. So on the LT Trail Boss, you do have passive locking and unlocking. So I can unlock the vehicle by pushing this button and lock it by pushing this button from the outside. We've got our in-seat storage cubbies as well. If we take a look down here, you still have your rear vents, but they have added a couple ports on the LT Trail Boss. So you've got a USB-C, a regular USB charger, and then your regular car outlet. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the LT Trail Boss versus the Custom Trail Boss comparison video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the Ernie Dean YouTube channel. Thanks for watching the video. Until next time, guys, bye.